Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So today I'm here with some of the new poly pockets. Um, I think they're like from 2018. So I've got two of these little compact ones here. So I've got this little bunny one, which looks really cute. And I've also got this little paint set one, which is also really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I think these were 2018 when they started making these new ones. Obviously you've got the very well known vintage poly pockets, which so many people collect. I have quite a lot of them myself. I really love them. They're such nice quality and beautiful designs. Um, and that's part of the reason why I kind of ignored these for a while because I just thought they weren't as nice looking, they didn't seem as good quality, sometimes they were a bit garish in colours. Um, so I not ignored them for a while but actually they started to grow on me and there's certain designs that I started to really like. Um, and obviously so you have stuff like this, like this paint design or the little pet design, I thought they looked really really cute. And obviously they are quite small so I'll show them on camera like this and then I'll also flip the camera at the end so we can do a little close up um, because there are, you know, there's still quite a lot of details there. Now what I really want to do eventually is actually um, customise them and paint them a little bit because just looking at them in the packaging I can see a lot of areas where it's just kind of like a mouldy shape but it's not been coloured or painted and I would love to get my acrylic paints and do that a bit. I used to love art, I don't do it as much now, but I would really like to do that. But yeah, definitely subscribe if you would like to see that, um, because I definitely want to try do it soonish, depending on when I can get a little like phone tripod and stuff, but yeah, I think that would be really cool. So I've never actually opened a compact or any of the new polys before. I have got some of the tiny takeaways, which I bought off a lady from America, um, because they never came to the UK, and I absolutely love those. So I've dealt with like the little poly figures before and stuff like that, um, but I've never opened any of these actual compacts, so really excited to get into it. So let's just open this one. It's a very, very easy to open, which I love. I hate toys that are so hard to get into. <laughs> So here's the little compact. Now I must say on the first time touching it, it does feel quite solid. It's almost a little bit heavier than I thought. I kind of expected it to feel really thin and cheap, but actually it feels quite nice. Um, so I really like this outside design. This little gold is really, really cute here. We do get a little pinkish kind of keychain, so we could hook that here. Probably not gonna do that because I'm just gonna display them. Um, and then we have this little bit here, which is a cute little design. So it does seem to open really easily. So you've got this bit that I think this just kind of pushes in to secure it a bit better and then you can kind of lift it. Um, so, you know, it's quite a nice closing mechanism, but definitely the vintage poly pockets just feel a lot sturdy and they just like really snap shut well. So on the top here we have a little easel and then we have a little pot of paint brushes and some water. So stuff like this I would really love to paint because you can see it's just that molded like wood color, which obviously is not very realistic or detailed. Um, and then we have this little blue cupboard here and that's really stiff actually, that opens nicely. Um, and in there that's really cute, it looks like there's all different art supplies. So I like that they have these stickers in the background which does add a lot more um, color and detail and stuff, so that's really cute. And then on the bottom, we have like the main sort of art studio. So this is quite cool. We've got like a massive like paintbrush design. Um, it reminds me of like Art Attack. Did anybody watch Art Attack as a kid? I absolutely love that show. Um, looks like we have two big tubs of paint, a couple more there. And this looks like a little pottery wheel, which does actually turn. On that table there, there's another paintbrush. It looks like there's some like tools, really hard to see, very small. And then over here we have like a paint easel more paint brushes, a tube of paint. Um, so, you know, there is quite a lot of detail in how small it is, so I do really like that. Um, so we did obviously get our little figure with it and some other accessories. So here is our little Polly. She looks really, really cute. Um, so yeah, she's the blonde haired Polly. She's got little pigtails. She's got these really bendy legs, obviously for the Polly stick. I love like the little outfit. It looks like she's got paint splatters on there. Um, but I'm not a massive fan of the legs and this like bendiness. I prefer just more like solid plastic. I've had some before like in my tiny takeaway sets where the legs are like kind of bent and they kind of, I feel like they can get damaged quite easily. So I do prefer like a firmer plastic figure. Um, but I do love how detailed she is in the designs. The little face is really cute as well. Now other accessories we get include this tiny little purple container. Um, so this is really, really cute. You see there's a little handle there and this does actually close, which I think is a nice little detail. So we can just kind of snap shut. I mean, that's pretty nice. It's again, quite simple, um, but I do like that it closes and stuff. So I think that's really cute. And then we have this little tiny blue chair. Um, 
it's a really weird shape but yeah i quite like this it is quite a hard plastic it doesn't feel too cheap so i'm relatively happy with that as well and then we get this little canvas board which is obviously what polly's been painting so that's really cute like little sort of abstract design uh, all those colors and then the Polly pocket logo in the middle and then with that you can actually just pop it in there so i think that's really really cute would have been nice if maybe the other side had a different design so you could swap it um but i mean yeah that's really cute i like that little addition another problem people have with these little dolls and to do with the legs is that you can't really bend them to sit so when you have this little chair i'm just sort of sliding her in there and she does kind of sit but then she kind of just slides back out so i don't know if there's a better way to do that maybe leave me a comment if you have any of these and you've figured that out but kind of put her in and then she's just kind of sliding out so that's a little bit annoying um so yeah with plastic legs it would be better if they just kind of folded in a little bit um like the vintage pollies so this is what this one looks like with everything in place um so yeah polly does stick into the sticker bit on the bottom surface um, but i will show that closer in a second but let's move on to this one um so this is the little rabbit one once again not much information i think this girl's name is lila or something let me know down in the comments if you know the names i only know polly and is it Shani? I think there's uh, a black girl called Shani, I think. Um, but I'm not too sure about all the other names. So this one's very, very nice. We've got a pink little compact here. I really love this. And this time we have a yellow sort of keychain. Um, so this one actually seems to open and close a little bit better. This really, really snaps. So I don't know if there's a bit of inconsistency between them, but you can really hear it. It's a little bit harder to lift up. And then it really clicks shut so i like that and um, there's still a little bit of a gap around the edge but it seems to close quite nicely but unlike the paint shop one that we just opened this is a lot more wobbly so this doesn't stay up as well you can sort of position it there but it's not as stiff as the last one um, but this looks really really cute so at the top here we have our little rabbit hutch and like a lovely garden scene a sunny day in the background this bit is very, very stiff. I managed to lift that out and we can just see inside the hutch there. So there's a little um, picture there and it looks like there's a little food bowl. This is quite cute. It's very, very stiff to open and close, um, but I do like that and I like these little steps and that little doorway there. It's all really cute. And then on the bottom level, we have a little garden scene with these absolutely massive daisies there. I don't know why they're that big, but fair enough. Uh, we have this really cute little sofa here and once again i'd love to paint like this little bow and this little flower there just to add a little bit of extra detail i think that would be really cool um, and then we have this little flower kind of chest thing here and this lifts up and we've got loads of carrots in there which i think is really cute i do like that detail um so yeah another really cute design it's a little bit like wobbly and flimsy this one um but i've heard that if you want to make these bits a bit stronger you can use maybe fabric glue. I haven't tried it myself, but apparently that just adds a little bit of extra strength. Um, but let's have a little look at our accessories now. So first of all, we have our little dolls. So like I said, I think her name is Lila. I'm probably making that up, um, but she's really, really cute. So she's got orange hair that's tied up. She, her outfit almost looks a bit like a vet or something, like this sort of blue color. Um, and there is like a little bunny design on it, I think. So there's our hair in a ponytail. Again, same sort of poly stick bendy legs. Um, and then we get this little pram, which is kind of a strange accessory. So it's like a little baby pram, but of course this is a set for a bunny, but you know, I treat my hamsters like babies, so why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, that lifts up. I really like this actually. This is a nice quality little thing. Um, I do like how that bit lifts up and then really easily you can just fold it back down. Um, I think that's really cute. It's random, but I like it. And then we have two other teeny tiny little accessories. We have these absolutely tiny little carrots. Um, I definitely want to paint the sort of stalks of those to make those green. Um, and then we have our little bunny and I absolutely love this little bunny. It's so, so small. It's really hard to show you, but that is absolutely adorable. I love it. And here's the little bunny in that pram. That's really, really cute. I kind of like that. It's, it's so strange, but I like it. So here's this little bunny set. And I must say, I really like this one. I prefer it to the last one. I just like that we had a few more little extra accessories, like the tiny bunny and the little carrots and stuff. And the colors are really nice and the stickers look good. So yeah, I really love this one. Generally, I am very happy with them. I think, you know, they're quite a nice quality. Um, they feel quite nice like in terms of the material and stuff. I do like the little accessories. I think it's nice to have all these little extra bits. 
that's really really cute i like this set in particular um but let me know down in the comments which one you preferred out of these two they are pretty fun um so they retailed for about five pound here in the uk and i don't think that's too much of a bad price i've seen them a lot cheaper in sales and stuff more recently um so if you can get these for like a couple of quid they're definitely worth it i really like them and i'm excited to just paint some little extra details onto them so thank you so much for watching my opening and review of these little Polly Pocket compacts. Overall, I am really happy with them. I think they're cute. Um, I think the quality does seem a little bit inconsistent sometimes with the way they close and stuff like that because the one closed a lot better um, and the one hinges were a lot looser. So stuff like that isn't ideal. It's a bit annoying that the Polly won't sit properly in the chair, um, but just from a little design point and the way they look and the accessories, I do think they're really cute. Um, and you know for a couple of quid I think they're pretty good value so I am happy to have them um, but yeah please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video stay tuned as I do have a lot more pollies to open I have a bigger set to unbox at some point as well um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye